More than 12 million Americans will become victims of rape, physical violence, or stalking. That's far too many. Taylor, I spoke earlier on the show that you've lived through this ordeal. Um, and thank you for joining us to talk about it. But in general, thank you for being so open about sharing your story. Thank yeah. you. And, you know, the number 12 million, unfortunately, this is one of the most underreported crimes in the world. And so I unfortunately believe that these numbers are much higher. What was their hardest part, Taylor, in the oh whole thing? I mean, I'm, if you had to say one or two things, what was the hardest for you? Um, I believe that living just with the anxiety, I was very, very thin during, um, during those years, and I was always in the tabloids for being anorexic, and the truth of the matter was I was just living as a complete ball of nerves, walking on eggshells all the time and trying to keep peace within my household. But more than that, I, I think, is the impact that I think it had on my child. Later, I realized that Kennedy was much more aware still chokes me up a little bit, then, um, <laughs> my baby, much more aware um, than, I, than I thought. I was driving her to school one day, and she was in her car seat, and, and it was shortly after the suicide, and um, the, my psychiatrist had told me that I should bring up her father and so that she didn't believe that people just disappear. And so I would say, do you miss daddy, and do you remember this about him? And, and um, she said, no, I don't miss him, and then I persisted to remind her of things and she said why would you miss a boy that screamed at you all the time so i mean that brings up such an important point because domestic violence isn't necessarily physical violence it takes many shapes and forms right absolutely and i have i have a titanium implant in my eye and those scars are much less than the emotional scars that people go through. And so, you know, first signs of extreme jealousy, control, wow. you know, degrading um, behaviors. Um, yeah, that was not a good day. Um, and um, those, when you start to see those warning signs, you have to step back. And I love talking to college students especially because I feel like that's the first time you're away from parental supervision when you have that opportunity to have unhealthy relationships. You make decisions to do things that perhaps you really don't want to do with boys in order to have that acceptance from them. And it's just important to have an incredible amount of self-esteem and that's something that we work with Kennedy on so that you can say no. You know what, I, I'm not comfortable with that and I'm not gonna do it just because I want you to like me. And, and I love that you are speaking up about this. We do know that domestic violence thrives when individuals are silent. If you or someone you know is experiencing domestic violence, call the National Domestic Violence Hotline 24-7 to talk. You can ask for help. You can call anonymously. Their number is 1-800-799-SAFE.